so i'm going to share my personal experience in this video especially on the shivening scholarship interview hi there my name is cynthia from cynthiakimola.com i am a journalist a content creator a writer and also a shivening scholarship alumni i was a scholar during the 2018-2019 cohort and i'm here on this channel to give you tips and guidelines on what you should expect when applying for the shivening scholarship also to give you some insider tips as a previous scholar you know what what things you should look out for because we really need to help each other so i'm going to share my personal experience in this video especially on the shivening scholarship interviews so in this video we're talking about the shivening scholarship interviews first of all congratulations if you have been shortlisted for interviews it means you really impressed the committee the independent committee that looks over the essays and they they saw something in you they saw that your essays have stood out they saw the qualifications you put in your leaderships your leadership skills your networking skills are something that they think that you will really benefit from studying in the uk and also helping the uk and your home country relations okay so the shivening interviews you get to know that you've been selected via email and when you log into the online platform you'll get a notification there first thing first log in go and select a day and a time that is convenient for you don't delay there just go ahead choose a time and start preparing from the get-go so once you have done that the second crucial thing that you should do to prepare for these evening interviews is to actually do mock interviews and on my website cynthiakimola.com i have a, a post there about the evening interviews what to expect and there are sample questions there that you can go over just go to the website go and copy the the questions there get a friend a family member to to be to act like an interviewer and just to ask you the question so that you can practice how to answer them because when you hear how your answers sound you'll know if it's coherent if it makes sense and also the person who's acting like the interviewer in the mock interview will be able to tell you no that does not make sense you can be able to rephrase it and it also boosts your confidence because you'll be able to also feel like wow i really did answer that correctly the second thing you should do to prepare is to reread your essays this is very important okay this is something that i was told by a previous scholar and it really saved me why should you reread your essays because you are chosen um because of your essays there's something that you wrote in there that really um, picked their interest okay now the panelist might actually ask you some follow-up questions regarding your essays it actually happened to me so when I, in my leadership essay i was asked to clarify um one of the leadership roles and they were interested about what i had described and they told they asked me what did i do next so if i had not read my essay i would not have remembered what i had written down and i would have been caught flat-footed so you don't want to do that also you need to reread your essay so that you can own your story when you're actually um being asked why do you want to study in the uk uh, tell us about your career plan tell us about how you are going to to be able to help the shivening scholarship be known in your home country things like that then you can be able to quote some of the things that you have written in your essay you know just to link them up and for you to also sound like you are the one who wrote that essay the third thing i always recommend is go and read or scour through the shivening website many people really assume this because that website is uh, updated every day okay or um not even if it's not every day often okay let me just say often and you find some of the information that you are seeking has been answered in the frequently answered questions section just go over there and now they've revamped the website and you can be able in to find information easily go and reread that go and read reread the website find out the type of scholars who are there because they also do um feature stories of former scholars you know and also alumni there as well and you'll be able just to put yourself in the mindset what is the ideal candidate that they are looking for and i know shivening does not just look for one particular scholar 
they pick you on the basis of of merit on the basis of what you're able to offer um, on the basis of what you're going to study on the basis of the UK and your home country's relations so there are so many things that you just need to be updated about the fourth thing is please prepare by going through um, the social media platforms for the um, British High Commission or Embassy in your particular country. This will be especially important when you're answering the career plan um, essay. Um, essay or you can say when you're answering the career plan question there they might ask you like okay so what are you going to do when you come back or why are you going to study that you can be able to see and link up what the high commission or the embassy is doing in your country and quote some projects so the panelists can can hear like oh, okay this one is really up to date this one knows what they're talking about okay so what should you expect when you enter the room I was interviewed by three people. I had the Shivning officer present. I had a Shivning alumni present who was also in the same field. I mentioned I'm a journalist, so there was also a journalist there. And the third person was just an officer who works at the British Embassy. And it was actually a pleasant experience. It was just three people in the room and they were just seated um, in, in one long table on one end and I was just it was just a chair so I had to sit on that chair it was a bit nerve-wracking because you know nerve-wracking I didn't have like somewhere to put stuff I didn't have stuff but you know I had to put my bag down and then if you're a bit jittery or shaky like they might be able to see but don't worry it was actually a conversation so I got into the room uh, she welcomed me she told me uh, she introduced the panel she told me what we are there to do she told me the interview might last between 10 to 30 minutes there was a pen and a paper there for me there was a glass of water if I wanted to and before I even answered uh, any question I just took a breather and took a sip of water just to calm down and we proceeded with the interview so the first question they asked me was to for me to tell them about myself why I want to study um, in the UK why particularly the Shivening scholarship and not other no other scholarship and then the follow-up questions now started um, they wanted me to clarify something that I had written in my leadership essay they wanted to know how I would be able to to spend my time in the UK what are other things I was looking forward to other than studying I mentioned you know I wanted to to travel visit stadiums all those things and then the crucial bit is I was asked if I had any questions this is something that you must do ask a question it helps to show that you are engaged so what you can do is just prepare two questions beforehand and I did so one of the questions I directed to the Shivning alumni, I just wanted to know how they support scholars when they come back. The second question I asked the Shivning um, officer who was present, I just wanted to know like how would they expect um, us as scholars to be able to, to just interact with them while we were in the UK. And then she was able to answer me and tell me that um, after we go to the UK, she'll, 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 she'll just check in from time to time, but we will have our own program officers in the UK who will be able to take care of our needs. So that was quite reassuring for me. And then the last bit is, and they ask this to everyone, if you want to change your order of your courses, and I really did and um, I had applied to the University of Liverpool, Westminster and London, Strathclyde where I was and I changed the order and made sure that the University of Strathclyde was the first choice for me because I really wanted to go to Scotland and that's what I got. So afterwards they just told me like you know what um, you'll be able to get uh, feedback back in your portal so just go back and check it out and that's how it was I, f I left the room feeling very confident because I had done the mock interview and that's why I'm recommending you to do the mock interview and also I just felt you know what I was listened to and I was heard so that's the thing go in with a positive mindset and of course prepare and everything will go well for you okay don't worry this is actually an achievement if you've made it to the interview stage wow you did well so 
as i said um in the video earlier if you want to do the mock interviews go to my website cynthiakimola.com and go to um, i'll put a link in the description below you'll be able just to see the particular article that i'm talking about go over download um download or copy those sample questions and go away and prepare and i wish you all the best if you have any questions please write them in the in the comment section below if you found the video informative please subscribe to it like give me a like button and please share it with any of your friends who you feel might benefit from this information until next time thank you so much